Hello guys and welcome back to episode no to Assassin's Creed 4 episode 3. We're on our way to the governor for a meeting because I am disguised as Duncan Warhol, I think. Something like that. So yeah, I'm just on my way now. This episode what are you doing? Such a mango these days, isn't he? Ah, uh, Edward. Secret name Duncan. Lollings. Lol lol lol. Lol It's Christmas, okay. I'm allowed to do that. You know what? I've got to climb. It's better to climb than to um, run. I think I was nearly there. What are you doing? What's wrong with him today? Crazy. Um, that way. Yep. Ugh. That's what I did. No, 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 no. Jump. Keep going. No, I'm gonna free the pirate. Yeah. Hey mate, do you want to jump ship? Captain Kenway, just in time. Awesome. I'll see you back at okay. Boat. Even though I have no boat, not a boat, it's a ship. He said it wrong. <sighs> he said it wrong. Buenos dias. Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Si, sí, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. Thanks. Mm. Ese es el hombre? El... ¿Cómo lo llamabas? ¿Asesino? Sí, Duncan Walpole. Debería haber That's not my fault. Días. No me gusta que los extranjeros se pasen ah. por nuestra ah. ah, yeah, thanks. Don't trust me, it's all right. Yes. Excuse me. Yeah. I hear guns. I feel. I feel good. I hear guns. Gun time. Oh. <laughs> good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are done? I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry? My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah. Quite. She called you devilishly handsome. <laughs> Obviously, a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> Julianne, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. <sighs> Julianne Ducasse, <laughs> I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, oh. but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? The old man isn't ready just yet. Oh. Let's do it. You've got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan. So handle them with care. Oh. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like. Get a feel for it. Yeah. <laughs> I mm. once fought beside a man who carried nine on his person. He a boom in battle, but his ability to swim. <laughs> Quite. Feels good. A good kick, yes? I long for the day where one of my arm carries kick. four bullets and not the opposite. I have a friend in England you may like to see. James Puckle. He's working on something extraordinary. Magnifique.
I want to do the challenge. Enough amusements, Duncan. How about a true challenge? Let's do it. Try to strike every target before this hourglass empties. Remember, hit every target within the allotted time. Shit. Go. Reload, 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 reload. Just, just, oh, oh my god, just in time. That was fun. Oh, amazing. Duncan, where are your wrist blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill equipped. Yeah. Ah, damaged sadly beyond all repair. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, because I threw him away. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. These are souvenirs. <laughs> nice. Two blades. As is the custom, we? Eh? Yes. Custom, aye. Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration of your techniques? Well, I... Uh... We must. We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. Yeah. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly, uh, show you what I know. Here. Yeah. You see? The situation is well suited Lol. to your... Skills. Have a go. A blade in a crowd is always the simplest. Nothing grandiose. Just quick and clean. Show us another technique. Quite ingenious to use bales of hay for cover, don't you think? Oh, over there, okay. And I'll go over here so they can see me. God, that's the spirit. Yep. Seek oh my God, it's a chicken. The advantage of surprise cannot be overstated, isn't that so? Especially around a blind corner. <laughs> God, blind me! That's a clever <laughs> trick. Lol. Your aerial kills are the point despite their conspicuous quality. Magnifique. <laughs> Is it also possible to deliver a killing blow at high speed? Yeah. Such a powerful strike. I'm awesome. That's why. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, guys. The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. <laughs> and what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados. Grenados, the grenades. Anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she uh, here, in Havana? I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. Wow. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. Wow. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. <laughs> in future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. Ah. I merely offered them a choice. Wow. Take a pardon and return to England, penniless, but free men. Or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. Nice. I imagine Nassau would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Awesome. Best of luck with that. Yes, very best of luck.
Grandmaster Torres, Mr. Duncan Walpole has arrived. See. Hmm. You were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir. I was. Mm. Pretty. Incredible. The assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. I don't want to discuss, though. Mm. Convened at last, and in such continental company. England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now. The secret and true legislatures of the world. Please, hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide all wayward souls to live reach Rings? the quiet road. Really? To guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cool. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. Alrighty then. Decades ago, the Council entrusted me with the task of locating in these West Indies a forgotten place our precursors once called the Observatory. See here. Look up on these images and commit them to memory. They tell a very uh, old and how important much? story. For two decades now, I have endeavored to locate this observatory, a place rumored to contain a tool of incredible utility and power. It houses a kind of armillary <laughs> sphere, if you like, a device that would grant us the power to locate and monitor every man and woman on Earth, whatever their location. Only imagine what it would mean to have such a power. With this device, there would be no secrets among men, no lies, no trickery, only justice, pure justice. This is the observatory's promise, and we must take it for our own. Do we know its whereabouts? No. We will oh, soon, okay. for in our custody is the one man who does, do a man named Roberts, <laughs> once called a sage. It has been 45 years since anyone has seen a true sage. Can you be well. sure this one is authentic? We are confident he is. The assassins will come for him. Indeed they will, but thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. Mm -hmm. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet the sage for yourselves. Until then, <laughs> let us drink. Let us find the observatory together, for with its power, kings will fall. Clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. Well. That was an all right. Mm. Rest well, Duncan. Tomorrow the treasure fleet arrives, and with it, your reward. After which we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to it. Excelente. Meet me down at the docks first thing tomorrow morning. Alrighty then. Governor Torres requests your presence at the docks near the Castillo. First thing tomorrow morning. Okay. Mission. Uh, the name of the mission is. It's an episode three. What mission is it called? A man they call a sage. Oh, it's a sage one. Good morning, Duncan. Just over here. Edward! Hello, Edward! 
Oh, for God's sake. I found a man to purchase my remaining sugar. Huh? Quite a coup, I must say. He just called you Edward. Oh, that's the merchant who sailed me here. Out of caution, I gave him a false name. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. We'll catch up on it later. Huh. Very punctual, Duncan. This way. Here he is. A man both Templars and assassins have sought for over a decade. Well. I am told your surname is Roberts. Is this so? <laughs> you recognize this, I think. According to old tales, the blood of a sage is required to enter the observatory. Mm. We have the key. Now we need only its location. Perhaps Mr. Roberts will be eager to provide it. Transfer him to my residence. This car just stares at him. Isn't he having a bit of a dance? Man. Is Taurus? the observatory really such a grand prize? See, si, sin duda. The observatory was a tool oh, built this is the by the precursor race. Its worth is without measure. Precursor race? I see. One of your early letters mentioned the desire to kill the Mayan mentor, Atabai. Were you able to carry out this contract before coming here? I... I was not, no. Too many complications along the way. Nicely said. A pity. But the map you delivered with a blood vial will see that job finished. Aye. That's the idea. Kaja goes along with it. I don't like this route, Torres. We're exposed. Something is wrong. Stay close, Grandmaster. I feel it too. Do not let them get their hands on the sage, at whatever cost. I'm going up here. Above. There's another up here. They're on the rooftops. That's why I'm going up here. Watch the streets and alley. They could be anywhere. Swords. Oh, hi. Hi. He's on the floor. Should go oh, god damn it. Concentrating too much on the thing is the bubs. Um, assassins. God damn it. Let's try that again. Assassins! Above! That's it. Push him off. Got guns on, aren't I? Watch the streets and alleys. They could be anywhere. Ah, you little bum. Ah, oh, you little sod. You can die. Alright, I need to get up here to these guys. Hey, don't push me off. Get down there. Hey, what are you doing? Bastard. 
well. He was pleasant. Nice. Stop it. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Go. You're a nimble one, I'll give you that. Here he is. Shit. Oops. God is really fast, that's for Hang sure. back and make this easy on both of us, mate. Yeah. Stop, or I'll kneecap you. Do it. He deserves it. What he's doing, yeah, he does deserve it. I'm running away. Yes! Always happens that does. <laughs> it's quite fun. Well done, lapdog. Quiet. We'll see him to the prisons, Grandmaster. Double the watch. Well, I'll be buggered. What an active day we've had, gents. <laughs> see, he's set on all sides by our enemies. We must be more cautious. Yep. I do wish I could remain to see our drama done, but I must avail myself of these winds and sail for England. By all means, Captain, speed and fortune to you. <laughs> with luck, I'll return myself a governor. And with my idiot king's blessing, no less. <laughs> Adios. As for you, Mr. Walpole, I consider this the first payment in a long-term investment. Gracias. Obliged. I would like you to be present for the interrogation tomorrow. Call around noon. Huh, what? Yes, sir. Alrighty then. That was pretty cool. Pretty transmission as well. Yep. Now we're going to this fella well, over here. Well, alrighty then. God, thank Let's you go. for this pittance. One thousand reals for those maps. That's what? A hundred pound at most? <laughs> How's a man supposed to become rich in these times with a miser like Torres running the world? Have you ever, um... Have you ever worked on a plantation before? You know what I'm thinking? I'd like to see this observatory the governor's going on about. He said it were like a device. that could follow people around and show where they were. <laughs> a ludicrous idea. Imagine my wife with such an advantage over me. And imagine what a thing like that would be worth. Sell that to the right person and I'd be the richest pirate. Privateer in the West Indies. I'll catch you up on it. There's a sage in that house I must speak to in private. Come here. I usually loot these guys. I don't like this mission. This mission annoys me. How did that not see me, honestly? What? Damn it! 
God damn it. Thought I'll... Normally on this mission I normally get like... The full synchronization, but I don't think I will this time. Eh. Oh well. Oh well. Bitch please. I do love this mission. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Oh, there's a dude. Oh. Hey, oh, shit. What am I doing? He didn't see me, he didn't see me, he didn't see me, he didn't see me. I want him to turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. How can he see me there? Turn around then! That's it. For God's sake! Alto. Enemigo a tiro, señor. Podría darle entre las cejas. Give me shit. Come on then. I'm coming up there, mate. Oh, I thought I was gonna punch him off. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna pick him up after I've looted him. Pick up and then trick him off. After this, I think I'll be good to find the sage of the warden. Warden. Warden? Warden. Can't say anything to that. Good idea. Oh, I've got to locate him. Honestly, it's going to be that one right there, isn't it? It's there. Sneaky. Loot him and run back. <laughs> there we go. Open the door. Basta ya. What is your true name, Rogue? It's a. Uh... Captain, piss off. Mirko, <laughs> pull for peace. Where is the sage? You set him free. I had nothing to do with that. 
Much as I wish I did. Take him to the ports. Send him to Sevilla with the treasure. Oh, wait now! I delivered your treasures, didn't I? You did, yes. But you robbed us of Duncan one more. Eh. Yes, yes I did. Yes, I did. <sighs> um, shut up. <laughs> oh. A despicable display. This tusk part is a ruined man, Caroline. Unfit for life on land, much less at sea. If he goes to the West Indies, it's you who'll suffer. Father! Father! Come, love. Up with you now. That old muckworm! He's wrong about me! I hope it's so. You believe me, don't you? Can you not see me? Standing out there on the deck of a ship that's sliding into port. And there I am, a man of quality. With a thousand doubloons spilling from my pockets. Like drops of rain. I can see it. It's black. Um. Alrighty then. Senna, cómetela rápido. You hungry? Right, I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. See you next time. I hope you enjoyed. Like and favorite, subscribe.